Hello everyone, so welcome to the most expected questions part 2. In this video, I shall be taking some very important questions for coordination chemistry. I have told you that I have taken a revision series. This is for mains or need or aims. Okay, so make sure you are watching this. It would be very helpful for all of you. Okay, so the first question is, it is given that as per IUPAC nomenclature, the name of COH2O4 NH3 whole twice Cl3 is okay. So first of all, in these type of questions, our first mission is to find the oxidation state. So you can see from here, this totally has a minus three charge. So under coordination sphere, how much charge will be? We would have a plus three charge. Okay, this is neutral. This is also neutral. Hai. So we would get the CO to be in plus three oxidation state. Now, the next mission is to decide which groups are present. Hai. So, H2O is which group? H2O is known as aqua and NH3 is known as amine which is double M. Make sure, this is very important, there should be a double M. Organic wala, A-M-I-N-E nahi hai. we have double M, I-N-E, okay? So, you can see from here, कि हमारे पास aqua है, amine है, इन दोनों में से पहले कौन सा आना चाहिए? C, A, Q, A, M. So, A, M वाला पहले आएगा. Okay? The di, tri, tetra, etc. don't matter in the nomenclature. We have to find by the help of A, M और A, Q only in this case. So, amine पहले आने वाला है. So, A and B obviously go away. Okay? Now, the spelling should be correct. Spelling किस में correct है? Double M वाले में. So, you can see that di, amine. Tetra aqua, tetra because 4, aqua, cobalt, 3 oxidation state, chloride. This is the correct answer. That is the option C. Okay, I hope you are clear here. The next question here is a very important question. Uh, we have been given 3 complex ions P, Q and R where P is equal to PEFEF6 minus 3, Q is equal to VH2O6 plus 2 and C and basically R is equal to uh, Fe H2O6 plus 2 the correct order of the complex ions according to their spin only magnetic movement in Bohr magneton is so we have compare karna hai? Hume unki, uh, order compare karna hai the spin only magnetic movement ka. okay so how we used to do it usko hum karte the oxidation state se. so let us calculate the oxidation state here we have Fe plus 3 Fe plus 3 is, we have Fe to be equal to 3D 6 4S 2. So Fe plus 3 kya hoga? 3D 5 basically. So let me draw the diagram for it. So one electron will be in each of these. Okay. Now we have V H2O 6 plus 2. So that basically means, humare paas hai V plus 2 that is vanadium plus 2. So V is equal to 3D3, 4S2. So vanadium plus 2 would basically give me what? Removal of these two, giving me 3D3. So writing the orbitals, we have three electrons here. Now, we have end mein hai, Fe H2O6. This means what? We have Fe plus 2. Okay, so these two will be removed basically. And we will get 3D6. So 3D6 means what? We have four unpaired electrons okay four unpaired electrons so which has the maximum magnetic moment spin only magnetic moment uska matlab uske paas maximum number of unpaired electrons honge so here we have n is equal to 5 here we have n is equal to 3 and here n is equal to 4 are unpaired so which has the most that is p has the most then we have r and then we have q so p greater than r greater than q that is option B is the correct answer. Now a very important question here. We have to find the geometry of NiCO4 and NiPPH3 whole twice Cl2. Okay, so you can find how we normal method se dhoon sakte hai, with the help of finding the electronic configuration etc. But we have to know that the carbonyl group is a strong field ligand which causes pairing. And one more very important point jo hai, that whenever we have bulky groups, bulky means heavy groups like PPH3, they will always prefer to go into sp3 hybridization. Why? Because sp3 may less repulsion unko milta hai because the compound becomes non-planar. So unko less repulsion milta hai pe. That is why the heavy groups prefer 
to go to the tetrahedral geometry okay so we have carbonyl group so, so uh, we have the strong field ligand so pairing occurs here we have nico4 ni is what 3d 8 4s2 okay so if pairing would occur here then you can see we have 3d8 so 3d8 implies we have this 5 6 7 8 and here we have 4s2 which has two electrons so if pairing occurs it means that one electron goes from here to here basically even if pairing occurs we can see that pairs will be formed and this 3d would be completely filled that is 3d 10 is formed basically and 4s would become empty in that case so then 4s would be filled giving me sp3 hybridization so what you can see from here both of these this is tetrahedral automatically and this will also be tetrahedral so the answer is that both are tetrahedral in nature a very important question the next question is one of my favorites because it had been asked me asked to me in the upsc sc area exam also so make sure you understand it very well in solid CuSO4.5H2O, this has directly been mentioned in the NCRT. Uh, we have been asked, copper is coordinated to how many water molecules? So, a very important question. Hai. Let me tell you the structure for it. So, CuSO4 kya hota hai? Cu plus 2 plus SO4 minus 2 and we have 5H2O. Okay, now how it is coordinated actually? We have Cu plus 2. Uske saath, Water ki coordination aise hoti hai. We have H, O, H, H, O, H. Basically, iske saath four water molecules coordinated hote hai. So, you can see that this oxygen is coordinating with the copper here. So, basically four water molecules are coordinated. But for the knowledge purposes, you should know structure kya hota hai because it is mentioned in the NCRT. So, plus two charge which is present here and the rest will be bonded with sulfur so sulfur is so4 minus 2 so so4 minus 2 is present here we have one more water molecule because we have 5 h2o so a water molecule bachra hai so writing that h o h that binds with the lone pair of the oxygen and here also it binds with the negative charge of the oxygen which is present here and a further bonding which is present between this hydrogen and oxygen because of hydrogen bonding okay so this bonding is present so basically kitne water molecules copper ke saath coordinate ma maar rahe we have four water molecules as you can see here a very important question now the next question here is that we need to find the more stable complex of the following molecules so let us try to see in type ke questions ko kaise karte hain you need to remember a very important point that whenever chelation happens what is the meaning of chelation chelation means the formation of rings by electron donating groups okay like हमारे पास क्या है C2O4 minus 2 so C2O4 basically has the structure this one which I am writing here C2O4 so this can form a ring a basically a five membered ring as you can see here a five membered ring can be formed by C2O4 okay this En this En which is present here that is ethylene diamine which is this structure that can also form a five membered ring by donating the lone pair of the nitrogen so that is basically known as chelation okay in third there wouldn't be any chelation in the last one we would have best chelation because edta forms six membered rings okay it forms six membered rings it is hexadentate and moreover chelation occurs and it uh, coordinates from the six sides which are present so you can see that it forms the six member rings and it has the most chelation to occur because of the iske baad sabse zyada electron donating groups hai and it is hexadentate in nature so the most stable complex will be formed by the option number d okay so i hope that this point is also clear this is a very important question which deals with that which is the following is sigma and pi bonding both are present basically so you should understand a very important point about the metal carbonyls which i'm going to discuss here that whenever we have a metal carbonyl the donation of electrons can occur from the carbonyl to the vacant orbitals of the metals okay but then a sigma bond forms into consideration but what can actually happen is that we can also get the donation of the electrons from the metals to the vacant antibonding orbital of the carbonyl ligand also 
then we would get the formation of another type of bond when the metal donates and that bond us bond ko kya bolte hain hum tab form hoga hamare paas pi bond okay so aap dekh sakte hain ki we get the formation of a sigma bond which i have shown to you and now i will be showing you the formation of the pi bond from here which is from the donation of the metal to the carbonyl group okay so that should be understood that dono pi bond aur sigma bond form ho rahe hain to isse kya ho jayega hamare paas you can see that organometallic compound in mein se kaun sa hai that is metal is directly attached to carbon wo hota hai organometallic so option c would be the correct answer for this question because both the sigma and the pi bonds are formed in this consideration because of the carbonyl group which is actually present okay the next question is a very important question which now deals with that which catalyst is used for the polymerization of the olefins so let us try to understand so the first one is zieglernata then we have wilkinson and pd and zies salt catalyst now if you remember from the organic chemistry maine tumhe bataya tha ki wilkinson catalyst aur pd catalyst use hote hain hydrogenation mein okay so isse isse matlab kya hua these won't be used here for polymerization of the alkenes now let me tell you that what is the formula for zieglernata catalyst it is alet whole thrice and moreover we have the presence of the tical3 so this is known as the ziegler nata catalyst which is used for the polymerization of the olefins taught in uh, the d block also and here also it is a very important thing so it is known as the ziegler nata catalyst agla question bahut hi zyada important hai which of these is the poorest electrolytic conductor complex in the solution so this comes from physics basically since we need to understand that we have the presence of conduction here and moreover we can see that we have been given electrolytic so kya hona chahiye ions hone chahiye jitne acche ions utni achhi conductivity hogi so we need to see that electrolytic kis mein better ho raha hai so which of these gives the most ions okay so you need to understand that point so we have k2pt cl6 the complex wouldn't break down we get two from the potassium and one from the complex so we get three ions in total here the next one is you can see we have one ion and three ions totally giving me four ions here we have four plus one that gives me five ions and in the last one we have one plus one that gives me only two ions okay so isme se do ions form ho rahe hain so we have been asked the poorest electrolytic conductor so kis mein sabse kam ions aa rahe hain wo aapko dekhna hai so last wale mein sabse kam aa rahe hain so we get only two ions so that is the poorest electrolytic conductor agar main best puchta so that would have been the option c because usme hamare paas panch ions aa rahe hain okay so i hope that this question is now we have been asked about the low spin complex of d6 cation in an octahedral field has the following energies these four options are given to you सो so, इसमें से हमें पहले देखना है कि पी पेयरिंग एनर्जी होती है पी इज पेयरिंग एनर्जी एंड डेल्टा नॉट इज द ऑटाहेडल स्प्लिटिंग एनर्जी सो वी हैव बीन आस्ड अबाउट सी एफ एस सी उसका फॉर्मूला क्या होता है 0.6 पॉइंट सिक्स इंटू एन ई जी इंटू डेल्टा नॉट माइनस जीरो पॉइंट फोर इंटू एन टी टू जी इंटू डेल्टा नॉट प्लस एन इंटू पी जहाँ पे एन इज द नंबर ऑफ इलेक्ट्रॉन पेयर्स विच फाइनली गेट इन टू पेयरिंग सो यू कैन सी दैट दैट इज नोन एज एंड पी इज नोन एज द पेयरिंग एनर्जी विच आई हैव टॉट ना लो स्पिन कॉम्प्लेक्स हमें दिया गया है इसका मतलब क्या होगा सारे ऑर्बिट सारे इलेक्ट्रॉन्स हमारे पास पेयर्ड होने वाले हैं सो राइटिंग द इलेक्ट्रॉनिक कॉन्फ़िगरेशन यू कैन सी दैट सिक्स इलेक्ट्रॉन्स आर पेयर्ड हियर एंड देर वुड बी नो इलेक्ट्रॉन्स इन द फाइनल टू ऑर्बिटल्स सो टी टू जी हेयर हैज सिक्स इलेक्ट्रॉन्स और ई में हमारे पास जीरो इलेक्ट्रॉन्स हैं सो इलेक्ट्रॉनिक कॉन्फिग्रेशन वुड बी रिटर्न एज टी टू जी टू 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 एंड इन द ई जी वी वुड हैव जीरो एंड जीरो ओके सो दैट इज क्वाइट अंडरस्टूड ई जी जीरो हो जा रहा है दैट इज वाई वी गेट द फॉर्मुला जी माइनस जीरो पॉइंट फोर इंटू सिक्स इन टू डेल्टा नॉट फ्रॉम हेयर एंड यहाँ से हमारे पास थ्री इलेक्ट्रॉन पेयर्स आ रही है हमारे पास सो थ्री इंटू पी सो द फाइनल आंसर कम्स एज माइनस ट्वेल्व बाई फाइव डेल्टा नॉट प्लस थ्री पी एंड द करेक्ट ऑप्शन इज द ऑप्शन नंबर बी ओके सो ना लेटेस्ट मूव ऑन टू द नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन विच इज रिलेटेड टू द स्पेक्ट्रोकेमिकल सीरीज Among the following ligands, NH3, EN, CN minus NCO, the correct order of increasing field strength has been asked. A very important question has been taken here. So let us try to understand what is actually going to happen. So spectrochemical series, which we all know, is derived experimentally. Okay, and this order is mentioned in the NCERT, and you should know very well that the order is followed. Kiya jata hai. So basically, the correct option is the option A because carbonyl is taken to be the highest, and then after that we go on to CN minus, then EN, and then NH3. 
the basic logic which you can apply here is that the negative charge on carbon would be very unstable in nature so that is why that would be a better nucleophile according to organic chemistry but the basic logic which you have to understand from here is that you have to take the spectrochemical series and understand that very well because that has been given in the NCERT 2 so the correct option would be the option number A and that is used as the correct answer so if this video has helped you Please make sure that you like the video and share it with your friends. Subscribe to the channel for more videos. So if there are any doubts, ask me in the comment section. So thank you and all the best.